afternoon, everybody, and how are you on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon? I uh, hope you're ready for some fast-paced action today because this next two hours is a masterclass. Uh, we love a masterclass. It literally goes through everything you could possibly think of uh, to really learn about a product or a range. Uh, so we've got a full collection today, uh, which is incredible. When I say full collection. It's a Sarah signature collection. It's our Say It With Flowers. It's one of her prettiest collections uh, that she's ever done. It's one of her proudest ones she's ever done. Sarah absolutely loves this. Leanne absolutely loves this. Uh, and we had a massive, massive amount. Now, you know with the Sarah Signature Collection, um, once it first comes out, it whittles down. Um, so some bits aren't completely left. But I have to say, there is a lot in this collection still left, including a six by six paper pad. So if you didn't get a chance to get it before, um, you will be able to get it today, which is amazing. And I'm gonna go through those in a minute and show you exactly uh, what you're getting in this collection. Uh, but firstly, I have to tell you, we have the most amazing lady in the studio today. Um, she is the person that really does inspire me so much uh, because she loves her construction and her building and and her head honestly must be bursting with ideas because she always seems to give us the best ideas and the most different things that I've ever seen. Um, so it's my lovely friend and work colleague, Michelle. Michelle, hiya. Oh, thank you. I really <laughs> liked that introduction. Oh, that really nice. it's See, so true. But that's why I, I don't speak very well because my head's full of, you know, crafty stuff yep. and it shoves like things like basic, you know, English and stuff out. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that. I think that's my excuse when I get my words wrong. It's just, yeah, yeah it's so full of crafty stuff. I've got room for all that grammar and stuff right. like that. <laughs> I love that. Um, but this collection is beautiful, isn't it? It is. It is one of my all-time favourites for the fact that not only do we have those flowers in there, we have, so I'll show you some samples, we have the crepe paper flowers in there now this is something that i love to do i loved to do the flower farming and then when we brought that i was so happy i love to do my crepe paper flowers so then when we brought that and uh, you know introduced that i was even more happy um, so you can see look at just beautiful so just one of these blooms is all you need to create a beautiful um centerpiece so this obviously is included in in the kit um, we've got the dearest friend. Uh, just, is, am I, yeah, dearest friend. Um, so we've got the beautiful sentiments on this side. We've got these um, gorgeous decorative elements. And again, you've got the flowers in there. Let's bring this one in. So I love this. I love this because we've also got those um, little flowers. You don't just have to do them with your flower farming. Um, and again, we've got that beautiful sentiment, that happy birthday. And then a nice, nice, simple, but still stunningly effective and beautiful. We've got this. I, I love this one. This is absolutely so much fun um, to colour in. And if you get our deal today with the um, tricolour aquas in, it absolutely colours up beautifully. I love this. Look at that. How cool is that? Yes, just so beautiful. And then last one, I love, I love the colour, I love the greens actually. It's not normally um, sort of the colour that I go for, but the greens in this collection are just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and you're loving that already. Uh, ben McCarthy's in the house already. Oh. Woo -woo. Always <laughs> first in. Our Susie sent him across. Ben's always first in. So <laughs> yeah. we love that. Um, you know what I have to say? Your Ben is so... I love the way he supports you in all your shows. So nice. He's not missed a show. He even watches me down at Hobby Maker as well. Really? Except for them 6am starts. <laughs> he didn't watch those. That's so these enough. are lying. That's not good enough. Ben, ben that's not good enough. 6am show you should be in for uh, don't worry they're gone now so we're doing yes. later shows instead yeah. of early shows yeah. so uh, uh, but welcome Ben yes uh, nice to have you with us he's saying good afternoon to everyone um, Sherry's in saying hello from Ohio Ohio um, and then we've got Thea in and she's saying oi oi still here from the <laughs> Netherlands uh, fussy cutting some daffodils so very nice um, Denise is in from a windy Virginia uh, Tammy is in saying good morning from a cold Philadelphia it it was cold this morning. We had a bit of frost on the car this morning. I thought it was a bit of snow. Yeah, George is saying it's snow and I said to Michelle, is that snow on my car this morning? Uh, Brenda's in saying good afternoon from a sunny Saxy bit. Saxy B. I've never heard of that. Saxy B. S-A-X-I-B-Y. Saxy. 
CB. Uh, let us know where that is, Brenda, because I've never heard of that one before. Might have to um, put that one to Ben to put in another tune for where that is. Um, Beth is in saying good morning from New York and Kirst is in saying good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm loitering in the background doing some work. Yes, we know you loiterers. You can't <laughs> help yourself, can you? Uh, right, now let's get started. Now, remember, before I start, you get a free gift, which is amazing. Uh, it is while stocks last. It's getting very busy, but hopefully it will last us through the day. You get the tags and tickets die set. So this little pack here will be put into your uh, parcel, no extra cost. You're getting 11 pieces in here. So look at all these tags and tickets that you can be making. This is a great gift to give you because it's going to be used for so many different things. And all year round, when you think about all your gift giving, your bags and tags and everything that you use, all all of these different size tags uh, you're going to be using throughout your crafting so I think that is an amazing free gift and it's all orders over £10 or $10 that will be shipped to you no extra cost and you don't even have to do anything about it no code just spend £10 or $10 uh, and that will get put into your basket um, right now on to our main event which is our say it with flowers uh, this is our uh, uh, little selection that we've got here uh, we've got our intricate arc, arc put my teeth in again um, it's such a beautiful it's like it's got that beautiful doily um, and I think it's snippable as well snip into some of these patterns and you can have these sort of full circles they're amazing um, we've got a floral splendor there which is a beautiful creator card die and um, what about one here which is our timeless elegance uh, another beautiful one what I love about these dies is you don't need a lot else you just put your flowers into the center or maybe a sentiment uh, and they're going to go a long way uh, you've then got your classic Baroque, another beautiful design there, which can be used for so many different things um, and great for adding in your flowers or your sentiments. And then we have the most beautiful sentiments. I think these are probably my favourite sentiments of all time. I think the font on them is beautiful. Uh, again, if you just want that sentiment and not that outside edge, the snippability is really sweet. Um, and they've got different designs here. So you've got your dearest friend, that just for you, and your happy birthday. So there's three sentiments in that one which are going to carry you throughout the year. Uh, the one on that card that Michelle was just showing us with that beautiful peony, which is the um, one that you can colour in yourself. So you're getting that stamp there with all those sentiments and the die cut. You're then getting your different flowers. So this one is our uh, peony. Uh, then we've got our rose and then we've got our chrysanthemum. So you're getting all those different dyes with the foliage as well. On top of that, you've got all your um, uh, ribbons here, uh, which is your organza in three different colours and three different colourways. So absolutely beautiful. And then on top of that, you're getting a full flower making kit with the crepe paper. Now this all comes boxed in its own gift box, uh, which is so lovely. You're getting all these stunning crepe, flower, crepe papers inside there. Uh, Michelle showed you how to use them uh, this morning in Wake Up Call and I'm sure she's going to show us some more. Uh, you're getting your tape here which um, you can use to tape your uh, twines together, these pieces of stems. Um, and then you're getting these little polystyrene balls so you're getting all of those in that collection. And then on top of that in the box as well you're getting all your stencils to create the most amazing flowers. Uh, super easy to do, you literally just lay these over your crepe paper and be really creative. So you've got your carnation in that one you've then got your peony and you've got your oh, pull this one out you've got your uh, dahlia and you've got your rose as well so all of those pieces come to you for the price of 90 pounds and 115 dollars which is amazing now if you did want the paper pads uh, we do have the six by six uh, paper pad beautiful designs and colorway in this collection you can see they're double-sided absolutely stunning so so pretty um I think this is such a lovely paper pad to use. I love the green. Look at the greens in that background there. Those greens, those purples, those oranges, pinks, uh, blues. I mean, absolutely just you'll just love them that's a beautiful paper pad and then if you want matching vellums we've got a pack of matching vellums um there's actually 24 pieces in there eight by eight which is incredible 16 pounds or 22 dollars saving 15 percent on those ones um right so we've seen who's in today we've seen everything that you can buy in that collection and now we're going to head over to michelle and she's going to show us exactly what she's got in store 
So I'm going to be using this frame. I think it's just a nice, timeless, classic frame. So you've got this lovely frame here, but I love the fact that you've not only got a corner piece, but you've got almost like a border piece as well. So we're going to pop that one off and we're going to use these two. So I'm just going to bring my plate in. I've just got some of our white um, card, all purpose, multi-purpose. Yeah, because it's all purpose glue, multi-purpose card. <laughs> that's, a, Kalal, all per, that's how I have to remem remember it, because um, shocking memory. <laughs> Isn't it all-purpose card as well, then? Multi oh, it's multi-purpose. Multi-purpose card. Now you've said it, so yeah. I can't take multi-purpose <laughs> card. <laughs> See, no room for any common sense, any English, <laughs> anything like that. <laughs> Who needs that when that's you've got right. crafty in your brain? <laughs> yes, yeah, so the white card and then just some pink, pink textured. And I'm just going to pop these through. So, I mean, I'm using my big plates in my big machine, but these are all small enough. They'll go through your um, midi uh, and your junior. Uh, obviously, these corner pieces, they'll go through your mini as well. So, um, if you've only got your smaller machines, uh, this one will definitely work on that. So, let's pop this off. And as you can see, I don't need to do it. Look, there you go. Look, it's cut through wow. beautifully. Yeah. Um, so lovely that die it is so so gorgeous isn't it so let me just get that off so let's pop this one out and take that tape off so i love it, that this comes with the corners and borders yes i so love nice. that yeah yeah definitely so let's get we like added get. little bonuses yes yeah definitely <laughs> it's almost like a freebie mm, absolutely little extra bits so this piece absolutely don't throw away um, die cut this back out in a different color and swap your centers over so if i die cut that in pink pop your white one let me turn it back around in there and then in this one you know die cut it out of something different um, and pop it back in it looks absolutely lovely so what we're going to do is i'm just going to bring in so just a little bit of my pink tulip um, water reactive ink pad just going to Go around, right round, just on the edges, just on the tips, just to take, um, just to blend it out almost. So just a little. Right, so pop that to the side. So I've got one corner there. I do have another one here. Um, and I also have, so what I did, um, I die cut, so you can see, I die cut it out of um, just some of the paper from the paper pad and I will pop that back in when I put it on my card. So those are my few pieces that I've got here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in, so this is just a piece of our acetate and I've just folded it in half and I've just made four by six um, card base with this. So let me just give that a bit more of a burnish. Um, just bear with me, let me bring this in. I'm gonna pop it on there so I can see <laughs> where I'm going a little bit better. It just seems to disappear on your glass mat. So we're just gonna, we're gonna pop that on um, the middle there. So I'm gonna use my dotty for this. And I'm just gonna be very careful because there's some really delicate pieces on there that we don't want to um, accidentally rip off. So there we go. I'm just going to lift that up and you can see that there's um, the tiniest bit of um, that ink it's just on the edges and it so sort of ties pretty. it in sort of blends it out um, from that pink to that pink but I do love this one it's it's very delicate and mm. dainty uh, <laughs> everything I'm not oh Michelle <laughs> I think you're delicate <laughs> You are definitely, really? you're, you're a delicate flower, that's oh, what you are. Do you know what? I, I am. <laughs> you are, absolutely. Don't you let anyone tell you any different. I am delicate. I can't trip up over my own feet and nothing, <laughs> you know, fall just walking. Yeah, I've got I that do down that to terrible. an art form, I really have. So there we go. So those two, just on the corners there. And I'm going to pop this in here. So if I'd have cut it the other way, you could have had just a lovely, um, you know, centralise that flower maybe for on the front, but I want the plane um, just on there. So for this, I'm going to 
use my normal tape pen. And I'm going to have to try and remember to do that little flick because I forget every single time. <laughs> it's the simplest things that I always forget. Yeah, it's just getting in the habit, I think, with the tape pens. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, it is. So just going to pop that back in. So effective, that technique. Yeah, I love it. So simple, but yeah, so effective. And then I've got lots of love on that lovely little banner. So we're going to pop that together. I'm going to give it a nice little drop shadow of the pink behind. So just, and you can have as much or as little as you want. Um, tile it up to you. I'm going to have a nice, nice big bit. I'm going to pop, of course I'm going to pop. <laughs> um, Trusted a foam, foam pad. pad. Absolutely. And I'm going to pop that right. In fact, before I put it on, let me just bring in my ink pad. Just because I've taken the edge off that, I'm just going to do exactly the same. I'm not going to add any more ink because I don't need lots on there. It's just going to go right on the edges. And just it, a whisper. Yeah, just a whisper. And that's it. That looks that so lovely. On there. And so I, where is that banner from? Oh, um, is that out? Well, I'm thinking it might be out of the um, what I said earlier, the say it with love, the say it with style. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. You've got my question. Oh, do you know what? Because I, I take lots of so things like that. I take them out of their packaging yep. and I have certain things on my desk. Yep. So I'm not quite I forget where certain <laughs> things are from. But um, I, I know I don't need to worry because we come here and you guys will oh, say to us. Oh, they will know. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let us know where that banner and yeah. sentiments from. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to pop two gems. Just I'm going to pop one there and one there. And so when I open it up, if, I mean, I've used the dotty so it's not um, too visible. Yeah, can't If you're not too. happy with being able to see it on the inside, then all you're going to do is you're going to get another one, you're going to die cut it, and you're just going to pop course, it over the back. Yeah. And it's going to cover up any glue that you can see um, coming through. But if I just leave that for now, stand that up for you, that for me is a nice simple but so effective um, way to use that die. Wow, that would be such, if you've got a little princess, I mean, is she not just going to love that? I actually love a acetate base card. I think it's quite a pleasing thing to the eye. Um, and again, when Michelle's saying about backing that backing on, you could put one on the inside to put your verse in as well, so you can uh, write your uh, uh, sentiment on there. I absolutely love that, Michelle. Thank you for showing us that technique. Uh, amazing. Um, so I'm just going to show uh, the paper pad because that's what one of the dies that Michelle use cut out of that um, I'm not surprised these are really busy only 16 pounds today you're getting that six by six paper pad and look at these colors in here absolutely beautiful they're exquisite they're bright and bold and just playful such lovely colors there um, and what I love about these colors is you can pick out any color in there whether it be green whether it be orange whether it be your pink whether it be your purple uh, and you can coordinate that with any cardstock that you've already got in your stash um, you can coordinate it with your weddings if you've got um, if you want to do your wedding stationery um, you can uh, coordinate with anything that, that you know whoever the recipient is their favorite colors I mean look at that that's just that's gorgeous I mean that's so absolutely pretty I would put that on the front of a card and put a sentiment on and a bit of, and a bow and you're done yes. I mean it is such luxurious paper stock it's uncoated so it means that you can do all your inks with them uh, your heat embossing all your different techniques it's just going to look so pretty and then remember you're getting your eight by eight papers uh, sorry uh, vellums with that as well uh, which is amazing these are really good quality all in those same colorways all in those same prints as well uh, which are just going to elevate your uh, your crafting to a whole new level uh, 60 sheets uh, in total with that paper pad and your um, vellum overlays which is amazing right do want to show you something that's very cool um, and that is my favorite ink pads I make no bones about it I absolutely love them so we've got those to go alongside uh, but this bundle is incredible so you're getting Nina cardstock 
You're also getting your stamping mat and you're getting your platform as well. Uh, that's incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, now, if you are new to stamping, this is the perfect combination for you. Uh, this stamping flap, look at that price. Wow, saving 30%, that's amazing. 20 pounds 98 or 27 dollars 90. I would grab these. Again, think of giftables. This is a great giftable to give in someone a new crafting um, hobby, really. Uh, so you're getting your stamping platform this has feet on each side of them all you do is press down it's amazing press it onto your foam mat as well and you're going to get professional stamping every single time uh, your Nina cardstock is your alcohol uh, cardstock it's been specifically made for alcohol pens uh, so absolutely incredible I love that deal I think that is amazing uh, $16.78 if you're platinum price absolutely amazing uh, ink pads we've got some of them for you as well um, 11 pieces in here and these are beautiful opaque pigment ink pads it means they're layerable and you get the most incredible colors in here um, all my favorites as well which I absolutely love so the first one we've got here is our lagoon uh, which is beautiful it's that really deep rich teal color uh, we've then got our parakeet and we've then got our ocean so all those colors are going to work amazingly together we've then got our honey pot our lemon tonic and our straw bow so another that yellow color family which is incredible then we've got our um, plum jam our fuchsia and that pink tulip that Michelle was just using so all those different pinks so I hold them like that so you can see them a little bit better uh, in that color family and then we've got our purples which is our crushed velvet and then we've got our grasshopper just to add some extra florals and foliage into those so you're getting those two and then you're getting all your color families of your your turquoise your pinks and your yellows as well so I think that is incredible value uh, look at the price of that you're saving 21 pounds 89 that's amazing if you love your pigment ink pads like I do stock up on some extras um, or again another really good giftable um, uh, gift for somebody another 30% saving that's yeah that's insane um, for our quality ink pads pigment as well uh, if anyone doesn't know what our pigment ink pads are just go and research them uh, and see what pigment ink pads do because you can do so much with them uh, including all your watercolour in your blending but your heat embossing as well which is amazing um, now do you want to show you um, uh, oh make me a winner don't forget your pictures I want to tell you that so you must get your bags tags and boxes in you can see just below there um, that's our theme we have a theme each day send in your mates with your bags your tags or all three your boxes um, and send them into the studio so you'll see studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk we're going to be picking five of the best pictures um, uh, I don't know if we're doing that I think just randomly we're picking five and then you on launch party um, you'll be the ones that are picking our winner and that winner will receive a £10 gift voucher or a $10 gift voucher so uh, absolutely incredible and don't forget talking of £10 um, if you spend £10 or $10 a day you are going to be getting an amazing free gift and it's a really usable free gift as well so uh, absolutely love that one right now we're in a masterclass uh, you know masterclass is just showing you all sorts of things that you can do with a, a theme a collection or um, a product and so we're doing today on our uh, as you can see say it with flowers and uh, Michelle's got another demo for us what have you got Michelle so I'm going to use the pretty peonies it is, yeah. I, I thought it said poppies then. I had, do you know what? I need to get some reading glasses. <laughs> Pretty peonies. I've got some, I just don't use them. <laughs> um, so I love this. You've got that beautiful big stamp. But what I love about this is the dies to cut it out. If I just pop that one off, um, come in two. So you can be keeping this attached to your card. Um, so you can be using, uh, it's almost like an edible, just cutting it out on one side or on the other, or when you bring them together, you can cut the whole thing out. Um, so I love the versatility of this. So let's pop that die to the side for now. So I've got some Nina um, cardstock here, and we're just going to stamp this out. So let's get that peeled off. I think that's a fresh stamp as well. Oh. Okay. Don't tell Tracy. 
<laughs> Do you know, it just, it just say something when you're very excited about using a fresh stamp or a fresh dye, something <laughs> that no one else has used and you get so excited about it. So obviously I'm going to use my stamping platform because I know that I can um, go in again and again and again. And if I've missed a little bit, especially when you've got a new stamp, because I think sometimes if you've still got a little bit of maybe that coating from manufacturing on, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't fully stamp. Mm -hmm. um, so if I'm using my platform, it really doesn't matter because I can go back in um, and just re-ink it and re-stamp. So I'm using my Rustic Brown for this. I love that colour. I love this colour. Yeah, it's, it's just a really usable colour, isn't it? It really is. And I think when you're colouring in flowers and stuff, I think it's nice not to have... Um, a solid black edge. I think it's nice to have that lighter um, stamped edge. So the rustic brown is perfect for that. So I, I missed a little bit, so I'm just going to go back in. The ink was still on it, actually, but um, I've just put a little bit more on, just in case. I'm just standing on my tiptoes <laughs> to get me some height you over there. You need the hands platform, don't you? Have I you do, not ever... it's, it's a bit too it's a bit too big for me. So when right. I'm stood on it, I'm a little bit too high. Yeah. And when I'm not, I'm a little bit too low. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So I went back in, and it's now stamped beautifully. Perfect. I could do with John making one sort of Michelle size. <laughs> you need a half step yes. more, don't you? A half step <laughs> less, yeah. A half step, absolutely. So, um, let's get these um, dies on it. And we need this counter, actually, because this is a lower counter, isn't it? It would be better to demo on this counter. Yeah. It's a bit like a jigsaw trying to get this on here. <laughs> I love you've got the options to one side or the other or all of yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. I do. I love that. Because obviously you can keep it attached to your card if you want to. Let me just... So you can see that they're just going to meet lovely. And I'm going to tape over those edges. I'm going to hold that there. And oh, have I made, have I made it move? No, nope, that's fine. I sometimes don't know whether I'm talking to you guys when I start mumbling like that on myself. <laughs> I think it's a little bit of both, isn't it? Just do what you do, Michelle. Yeah, I mumble to myself all the time. <laughs> I think you do, though. I think if you guys are anything like me, and I don't know if you do, when you're in your craft room, I do do oh, that. I talk to myself all the time. Yeah, I do do. All the time. Oh, you're a do-do as well. Craig's a terrible do-do at the moment. Now Michelle's a do-do. <laughs> Craig cannot genuinely see that he doesn't need two do's, but he said, but you do, because you do do. And yeah. I go, no, but you do that. And he's like, I, I do that. Do and he do still that. doesn't get it. He still <laughs> thinks you need two do do's. <laughs> one do do is normally yeah, enough. Yeah, one do do, yeah. <laughs> you're right but it just I think it just automatically comes out I do do that yes. is not it <laughs> and it's just and you could say I do that <laughs> <laughs> but I do do that it is I think I think we all do it I've done it as well yeah definitely <laughs> definitely so let me just get that off so that is cut that out beautifully love that now I've got quite um so I was just a little bit off, so I've got more of a board around the top than I have the bottom. So you've got a couple of options there. You can absolutely do it again if you want. Um, you could die cut out first and then stamp it on if um, you want to be really precise. Or, I mean, you could trim it off, you could fussy cut it. Oh, but what I tend to do is, let me just... Um, have I got a colour next to me that is light enough? Yeah, I quite so like that. I love a border on mm. it, I must admit. I really like to see a border, but I know lots of us don't. So what I would do is, um, so I'm going to colour these flowers in purple. So if you don't like that border, just go around the edges with the lightest one and just colour it in and it's just going to, um, it'll tie in. So if I bring in one that I've already coloured in for you. Oh, lovely. Um, so yeah, just use some of my purple. You can see I've used three purples. I think I've used like a dusky purple. Is it dusky? Dusty. Dusty purple, I've got my um, pink violet and I've got my uh, purple one. So all I'm gonna do with this, if I'm not happy with seeing that um, edge is, I think we tend to go for our lightest gray 
when we do this. But I like to use a colour, the lightest of... Uh, so I've got all purples predominantly on here. So I'm going to use one of my lightest purples to do this. That's um, so effective. It, it's almost like it vanishes before your yeah. eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and again, just something so simple. Mm. Yeah, I love that. But I must admit, I, I, I must admit, I like the white board around. I think it looks lovely. But um, again, that's a personal preference thing, isn't it? I know yeah, lots of us absolutely. don't. But I also love doing this. I love colouring the edging. It, I mean, straight away, you can see from that half to that half how it has just blended it in mm. um, and looks so different. Like you say, just personal preference, but yeah. it, it's amazing because it just vanishes. It doesn't actually look like you've put a border around it. No, that's it. And, and again, we always tend to go for like an ice grey, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that you can hardly see. But, um, but you're right, because that creates like the halo, but by matching the same colour, it's literally just disappearing that whiteness. Yes. Yeah, definitely. It's a great idea. Yeah. See, this is why I, I, um, I don't do, you know, when we were saying earlier, my mind's full of, of crafty stuff, which is why I don't do the, <laughs> the you know, the basic English language so much. <laughs> English it's, language, what's that? I know. <laughs> I think the um, the cavemen had it right when they just grunted at things. Mm. Yeah, my, my woman. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely caveman era, wasn't it? Johnny <laughs> 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 said that sounds like Yorkshireman. <laughs> no, yeah, that'd be my last. Yeah. My last. <laughs> <laughs> so nearly there there we go in fact don't think they used to ask did they just hit them on the head with a lump of wood <laughs> <laughs> how, how we have uh... <laughs> yeah we don't know if i think it's just captain caveman yeah <laughs> i love that so if i bring in one that i've left white and the one that I've coloured in, um, I, I mean, I love them both, but wow. it just really I blends love them both it away. Too, but actually, I think I quite like the top one coloured yeah. in. I love that. It's amazing. Especially in the colour that matches. Yeah. Um, you start colouring and you think, oh my God, that's way too dark. Um, but then, you know, colour the whole thing in and you can actually see it does look really lovely. And actually, what it shows as well is the, the bottom one with the white looks bigger and it pops more yes. but actually if you want a more subtle one and just that's it looks smaller it just looks very effective the top really, one yeah, yeah I love it, it does great way to show them right so i'll pop those to the side because i'm going to bring this in so what i have got here is i've got a card blank so it's six by seven and all i've done at the bottom is i've just cut cut um away so you could use one of your um, nesting dies if you wanted to cut that. I just did it with my um, craft knife and ruler. But again, you know, we've got all those um, nesting dies that will cut through two pieces of this. Um, so it's entirely up to you, whichever you're more comfortable with doing. So I've done that. And we're going to pop this just on there. And what I'm going to do is with this, so I've just got a square piece of card. And again, so it's just over seven inches by two and a two and a bit because it's going to give me um almost like a little window box so it basically i'm just making either a box lid or a box base but obviously it's just a lot narrower so if i'm going to pop that there i'm just going to glue this up in fact let me let me pop that on the front first before i stick it together so not with that one so this is that gorgeous textured cardstock from the collection and obviously those papers um, from the six by six pad. So let me just line that up. There we go. And then let's pop some glue on all four of my tabs. And stick those together. Just pop that there. So, I mean, I'm making a little window box for these, but this is going to be brilliant for your foam flowers, if you're making your foam flowers. 
they're going to look lovely in there. Um, or some little crepe, <gasps> with the crepe paper. Um, you could be making um, lots of just little buds and have them planted in there almost as though they're just popping through um, at springtime. That would look nice. So nice. I don't know why I didn't do that one either. <laughs> you have all these ideas <laughs> and you think, you come on here and then like you have 10 more ideas. Absolutely. I think but, when you're prepping, you sort of have that one idea and it pops in chain, you just sort of execute that. But like you say, I think then you see a bigger picture as you're sort of doing all the yeah, show, don't you? And yeah, see all the different things that that's you can it. be doing. Definitely. So let's pop this on. So just put that on there. And then I've got these. These are just going to go here on my little legs. Not okay. your personal little legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how long my legs are. <laughs> That's how short I am. <laughs> my mum used to always say, little legs but a long body. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but <laughs> I'm still short, whichever way you look at it. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to pop that on there. So again, I'm going to... Well, I can't do that now, can I? Let me bring in my red liner tape. Um, pop this on here. This will be easier for me than trying to use my tape pen on the top. Probably not a bad way to do it, though, because uh, red liner tape obviously is extra strong. Yes. Absolutely. You'll find said, all your tools and glues and tapes on the website. So if you wanted them, make sure you uh, uh, spend that ten pounds because you will get a free gift. Right, let's pop that on there. Just trying to get that straight. There we go. Love this idea. Yeah. So I've already got some foam on the backs of these because uh, I got carried away. Um, started peeling all my foam um, tape off and then realised actually I didn't need to use it yet. So <laughs> I had to peel it back off. <laughs> I, I was like literally making the full card and then we're thinking I'm supposed to be just prepping my pack, not getting it all ready. So I'm going to pop this one in the back because this is the white one. And I'm going to have that just there. Let actually, I might move that up just a little. And I'm debating, I am, I'm going to have it. So this one, I've put two layers of foam tape on the back because I want it, because uh, obviously my, um, my little window box is quite big. So two on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to put the foam just across the bottom. All right, yeah. Oh. So where do you get your inspiration from, Michelle, when you're making a card like this? Because I've never seen anything quite like this before. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I must admit, I get my inspiration from everywhere. I think sometimes um, you have a simple idea and it just evolves and evolves. And then sometimes I see some stuff either you guys have made or Debbie or Craig. And I think, oh, I like that. But then... I try to put my own spin on it, you know. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And then sometimes I will see something someone's made and I think I just want to make that exact self and same yeah. card. So absolutely, I think everywhere. So I love this. I've never seen like a window box card like this before. This could have been a craft along. It could, yeah, definitely. So there we go. So when you were first on. showed your card and then you did that little box, I, I didn't have a clue where you were going with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is that stuck down? Oh, my window box is coming open, that's why. There we go. Let me just stick those sides down better. Um, and then, so I've just got, thank you for being a true friend. And of course, one more foam pad. I've already got my gems, that's already could actually, would that look nicer there? Oh, I think that looks nicer there, doesn't it? There we go. And do I want a ribbon? Yes or no, what do we think? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'm, I'm asking... Yes, in the gallery. Yeah. <laughs> 
There we go. So if I stand that up and turn that round for you, you've got that lovely um, that. window box. That's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And what a unique idea on how to use those flowers. I think that is absolutely gorgeous um, and very different. Now, if you want that collection today, uh, this is what you're getting in there. You've got your intricate arc. You've got your charming um, chrysanthemum. You've also got your delightful rose and your beautiful peony. Uh, and then the one that Michelle was just using, that's that Pretty Peonies, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it doesn't, I suppose, Michelle, it doesn't matter which way round you use it. You could use it on the side of a card going up. It's yeah. so pretty. Uh, the most amazing sentiment dies. So there you're getting your happy birthday, your bestest, oh, dearest friend, sorry, and the just for you. Uh, and then the creator card dies on here are so stunning. You're getting that beautiful um, classic Baroque, which can go any way round. You're also getting the creator card um, Timeless Elegance, your Floral Splendor, and you're also getting all the ribbons in there, three different sizes in that beautiful three different colours in organza ribbon. Uh, and then you're getting a flower making kit in there uh, where you're getting all your different elements in there to create the most amazing rose crepe flowers, your dahlia crepe flowers, your uh, peony and also your carnation and then with that you're getting all the elements to create those flowers with including all your different colours of crepe paper, you're getting loads in there, all those templates, you're getting your twine that you um, go round your stems, all your stems and you'll get more little balls they've all fallen off here to create those little buds in between between all today's price for £90 or $115, which is incredible. Now, if you did want the paper pads, these are selling fast. Uh, we've got the 6x6, six six, beautiful colourways, double-sided, the most luxurious colours. Uh, if you want that bright, pop, bold of colour, uh, it's going to be absolutely incredible. And then you've got your 8x8, eight eight, um, absolutely beautiful um just lovely parchment papers there, or vellum papers, should I say. Uh, right, so lots of you in today. Let's just go back to, because I did just see, um, let me find, let me find, let me find. I did see it somewhere, did see it somewhere. Um, but I can't find it, but um, I can remember, and it's the, uh, I can't remember what the place was called, Saxe B, Saxe B. Um, is in Lincolnshire. Um, so, uh, yes, so I believe that was Suzanne. Um, so we've got uh, Lynn saying greetings from the Isle of Wight. Brenda's saying, I've not seen that idea before. No, me neither, Brenda. Uh, Beth is saying gorgeous colouring. Uh, Anne is saying the hint of classic markers are very good for using around the edges like you were doing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got Zoe saying that that looks like uh, a chalkboard. Funny enough, as you put that up, I thought you could turn that in with our chalkboard yeah. stamps. You could put that on there with the flowers at the bottom as well. I was thinking the same thing. Um, Mary Sill is saying, um, hello, good morning from California. Just waking up and it's such a treat seeing Michelle and her ever so fabulous demos. Michelle, I've missed you, she Aww. says. Uh, Cassie Ann is saying, such a pretty card. Trees is saying, window box is truly beautiful. Mary Pat is saying, a beautiful design, Michelle. Um, Christy Mahoney is in the house saying, sweet card, Michelle. Um, Carletta is saying, that's so cute, Michelle. Uh, beautiful, Michelle. Lots of beautiful. This reminds me of the easel that my kids had when they were painting when they were little. How cute would this be uh, with the crafty fun? Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah's crafty fun that would have worked so well that designer card and um, Rhonda is saying such a cool idea Michelle as always a window box card who knew uh, Terry Anderson is in saying hello from Ohio and Teresa is in saying Michelle so much lovely inspirational ideas yes I couldn't agree more uh, and that's why we love our Michelle in the building she totally thinks outside that box um, which is incredible now we're going to let you check out your uh, baskets uh, and we want you to have a look at this to how you join our amazing Club Inspire Club. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. 
we'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on catch up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family hello you lovely lot how are you today on this tuesday are you enjoying masterclass as much as i am because uh, it's been amazing uh, michelle always has the best ideas and just shows us some really cool stuff which is amazing uh, but talking about cool stuff i have a daily deal we need something to to do that don't we jolly we need daily deal 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 it's very it's no it's too similar to out of this world isn't it i think of something else i need something squeakier daily deal <laughs> 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 
daily deal. Here we go. Uh, if you want the daily deal today, yes, let's get Craig to do the squeaky voice tomorrow. Yes. Uh, $40 or £50, but only until midnight. Each day we were bringing you a daily deal and this is yours today. It's amazing. It's the Angel Collection, which is incredible. So you're getting that beautiful stamp and die set, which is our Angel Prayer. You're getting our Angel Kisses. So that gorgeous sentiment where you're getting that Angel sentiment and all the different sentiment stamps that go with it. Angel Blessings, lots of sentiments on that one. Uh, Heaven Sent, a lovely angel there. Uh, great that one for paper piecing or adding your coloured cardstock behind. Uh, such a pretty one. Heavenly Blessings, such a gorgeous design this one. It's got that outside cutting edge and the inside uh, uh, cutting die. Uh, we've then got the Eternal Love, really great edgeable that you cut alongside any edge of your card. And then the last one in this collection is Believe in Angels. Uh, such a gorgeous design that cuts out those wings beautifully. Uh, so if you want that collection today, you can only get this until midnight tonight. All that you can see here, including the linen cardstock uh, for £40.50. Uh, absolutely amazing. Platinum price, only £32 or $40. Now remember, if you are spending £10 today uh, or over, you will get this amazing free gift, which I think is a really cool free gift to get. It's the tags and tickets die set. You are getting 11 different tags and tickets in there. These are all the dies that are in that collection, which is incredible. Um, you're going to be cutting these out to your heart's content. I love that we've got perforated tickets. You've got all those different size tags in there. You've got little spaces to cut out your die cuts and your words and everything else. And that you're getting for absolutely no money whatsoever. In fact, you don't have to do anything apart from spend over £10 or $10. Uh, we will just pop that into your package free of charge, which is amazing. And now we are on the masterclass, so we're going to get back to it because I know you want to see what else Michelle's got in store. So, Michelle, what are you doing next? So, I'm just putting some, I'm just rescoring my scar line. So, I have firstly, this is our shadow box. This is my five by seven one. Um, and because I think you might find it as well, sometimes when you cut it out into a lighter weight cardstock, um, sometimes I feel like I need to go back over my um, score lines mm -hmm. that are uh, in there. Um, I don't know why. You would think that they would go in more in a lighter weight cardstock, but I think sometimes it just doesn't work like that. So that's all I was doing then. So, firstly, we've got my shadow box, and then we're going to pop some of these beautiful flowers. So this is my charming chrysanthemum. So I've literally just been running around, so because I, I forgot to plug the iron in, so I've just been running around looking for the iron. Um, this body wasn't built for you know speed crafting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just. Is it speed crafting or just moving fast in speed general? Speed dating, I've heard of. I don't know about speed crafting. <laughs> although we used to do, um, I've heard of it. I've never been speed dating. I just want to tell anyone that. Um, <laughs> just yeah, in just case. to clarify. <laughs> Not that I'm against anyone going speed dating. Um, but uh, speed crafting, we used to do in craft wars. Yes, so, I remember yeah, watching. Yeah, that could have been called speed crafting. We called it, yeah, they were amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. We definitely need to bring that back at some point. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was so much fun. I used to love watching that. Leanne and Craig were so competitive. <laughs> like, honestly, I've never seen anything like them. They were so competitive. <laughs> I do remember. I remember seeing people take other people's stuff and hide <laughs> things, not share the scarboards and stuff. It was very, uh, very vicious. <laughs> <laughs> it was pokey tools at dawn. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely was. Right, so I've just got all those scarred lovely, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my red liner tape, and just on those tabs at the edge, actually, this one would probably is the perfect width. So I'm just going to pop that on the edge, and just snip away. Just make sure that's pressed down nice and firmly. I'm going to go over all four edges, sniff that, and then, did I say this is our five by seven one? I did say that, didn't I? 
Uh, I think yeah, so. Yeah, because yes. we've got um, got three sizes, haven't we? With yes, shadow three different boxes, sizes, yeah. yes. Yeah, I think there was the four by six, five by seven, and then I think we also had the um, slimline one as well. Yes, that's it. But I love this because they, these are things that people will have in their stash. Yeah. Um, and I think it's great for people to see that you can use this collection with other things that you've already bought. Yeah, definitely. Bring it all in together. So if you remember, if you've seen me do it before, fold that in half and then bring it all the way across and press it down. And then you've got it perfectly where it needs to go. So let's do the same with this side. Make sure that's stuck down nice and firm. There's always that one that you can't do, isn't there? Won't come up for you. There we go. So again, let's fold that over, pop it closed. And then you know that if these two are perfectly in line, when you bring these over, they are going to sit perfectly in line as well. Amazing. So. Um, Susie's saying that yesterday, Michelle, you were talking about taking a pop-up class does that mean oh yes What's so <laughs> i um we were on a, like on about paper engineering things like that um and i said i'm doing a, a course online um with all all about being able to do pop-ups but oh. so you know obviously when you open your card or your book you've got yeah. the pop-ups that these are like next level pop-ups you know and you're doing a course i didn't even there yeah. were no there were such courses yeah there. i um I saw it on mine a little while ago and I signed up and um, you can do it at your own, at your own pace. The, right. the lessons are there for me whenever I've got time to sort of um, pop in and have a look. But um, I was saying um, a little while ago on Dragon's Den, I don't know if it was this series or the last one, there was someone came into the, the den um, and he'd done a paper or a card, chessboard, and it had folded flat and he opened it and the chessboard stood up. Wow. All, all the pieces on it and everything and it's very much along those lines it's um it's it just fascinates me that the mechanics of it and you know you've got to have a, a lot of patience but which is sorry that was saying and she's saying that keep up the good work your plant classes are paying off you're certainly becoming a paper engineer oh thank you yeah love that um and just while you're doing that uh corey collins is saying what type of ink uh would you use on your chalkboard on with chalkboard cardstock um so, chalkboard cardstock i think that's why what we had um a few years ago um i think the only one that would probably work with that is our pigment ink pads and then you might have to heat set it um with um uh, embossing, clear embossing powder, if that's what you mean, Colin, but let us know. Um, and Deborah's saying about the um, craft wars, it was so much fun to watch <laughs> and great entertainment. <laughs> it really was. It really was. So there we go. So that side <coughs> for me has got a little bit wonky, but I don't think you can see it, so that's okay. Um, you just have to be very careful when you're popping those under not to get it um, on the wonk. For want of a better word. Uh, <laughs> careful not to get wonky things today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. We're we just don't want making sure you don't punch anyone, that's all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't but just, like that kind. Just for anyone that didn't watch this morning's wake up call. Michelle was saying that she loves to punch, uh, but it was our corner punches she was referring to. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's pop that in there. So it's going to sit in there lovely. And then, so my iron should be warm enough now. So let's do a couple of these. So let me bring my iron up. In fact, no, I don't need my iron yet, do I? I need to die cut them out first. So let's just pop these off. And I'm going to bring in some of that gorgeous foam. I've got that lovely red and I've got that gorgeous um, salmon pink. We don't have any more of the foam from the Sacred Flowers left, but if you head to the website, you will find some of our foam on there. So, uh, Or you might have some in your stash as well. Um, yes, and, and also, you don't, if you do have, if all you've got in your stash is the white foam, you know, you can be inking it up and colouring it up. Um, you know, to whatever colour you sort of oh, want great, in it. Oh, great, great idea. 
I think we forget we can do that. Yes. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's very effective. I think the worst, I think the white is the worst to work with because when you're trying to keep it white, it turns every colour but. Um, so it's just easier to ink it up and then you can say yeah, it's supposed to be that colour. <laughs> They're supposed to be fingerprint flowers. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's pop this off. So again, another one of my most favourite things to do. I love making foam flowers. Yes, me too. I like making any flowers. Yeah, I do. Yeah, definitely. So give it a bit of a wiggle and it'll just separate all those four petals. So if I'm making these at home, um, I very much go big. So I end up with like... I think the least amount of petals you want on one flower is roughly about six petals, I think. But I absolutely love to go, go big and do lots of layers. I think it just looks lovely. Yeah, and it's one of those things, it doesn't matter where you want to start or end. If you just want a few flower petals, you can. If you want to really build it up to a yes. full flower, uh, you just die cut more out. Yeah, definitely. So um, I've got this sponge. This isn't the white one that comes with the, the kit, but it's, um, it's a sponge nonetheless, so it's still going to work absolutely fine. I'm going to bring in my iron. You need a medium to hot heat or medium to high heat, medium to hot. Um, and then I always use my tweezers because I'm always scared of the iron. Um, so you're just going to have it on there. And you can see that bow straight away. Can, you can see where it's dangling. Um, so we're going to just pop it that way. There you go. You can see how it's gone lovely. And then all I'm going to do with these ones is I'm going to make it nice and cupped. So I'm going to pop that to the side. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to get my tweezers. I think, I think Sarah just uses her um, a pokey tool, doesn't she? And just flicks it off. Uh, there we go. Pop that on. Let it drop. And I think for the most part, they tend to cup up beautifully all by themselves. Yeah, they do. And just mould Yeah, it's funny them. how that heat just cups them round, isn't it? Yeah, it does. So let's get this smaller one. And exactly the same. It sort of does it all by itself. It doesn't take a lot of heat, so it doesn't have to be on there um, for a really long time. And actually, that's a good point as well, Michelle, because I think the more you heat it, the smaller it sort of shrinks down. It does, it? yeah. And I think unless you're going to be doing the distressing, where you then will be um, sort of using your distressing tools and then pulling your petals out, I don't think you really um, need to have it on there for too long at all. I mean, you can see uh, from just being on there for that literally second, they've done exactly what I want them to do. So all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to bring in my hot iron. Uh, it's not my hot iron. What I mean, hairdressers. <laughs> <laughs> um, my hot glue gun. <laughs> I got that in the end. Um, and I'm just going to start with the smallest. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue on there. And pop that into the middle of that one. There we go, and then put glue on there. So you don't always have to use your stamens either. If you've run out of your stamens um, and you're wondering, well, I can't do my flowers. If, I mean, you absolutely can. Uh, you can use gems in there in the middle, buttons in the middle, um, beads. I like to use, I've got a big box of beads at home. Um, I think the jewellery makers beads because they've got the, the hole through the middle, mm -hmm. but a nice big pearlized, pearlescent bead right in the middle of there looks lovely. Or if you really want nothing showing, just keep sort of moulding that like um, I am now, just gently squishing it, and you will find that when you stick it to your, I mean, if you're sticking it to your card with lots of others, and you've got one going to the side, you're not necessarily going to see in the middle anyway. Yeah. So, let me pop that under there. And then, so, um, again, I don't have anything in the middle of that, but I do have a couple 
that I've already made up and I've used my stamens in the middles. And again, don't forget, if you've only got white stamens left, you can put ink on the ends of those to change the colours or use your, um, your pens that you've got. Um, so those are my flowers. So let's pop those to the side and let's get this box together. So what we're going to make is we're going to make a nice display box for those flowers. So this piece of card that I've got here is 10 and a half by 7. You can see that I've used one of my uh, nesting dies to cut out the hole in the front. I've got a half centimetre fold on that because then that means when I pop this in here, it's going to fold over perfectly. So flip that open and again... I've just got uh, a nice piece of that textured cardstock that we're going to mat and layer onto the front there. So I'm going to bring in my wet glue for this. And so let's just get this on here very carefully. There we go. And then we'll pop this on the front. Very carefully. There we go. And just hold that for a second. And then I'm going to bring this in, just pop that to the side for a minute, because I also have another one and that's going to go on there. So these are always nice. So if you sometimes, if you've put this together um, and you're not quite happy with your corners, because sometimes they do look a bit of a mess if you haven't glued them down properly. Um, it's always nice to just put a, a lovely border over. Um, there's always a way round if we've made a, a bit of a, a mistake or a, um, we're not happy with something. Oh, absolutely. Normally always it's a, a way. Yeah, normally it's a butterfly. <laughs> butterfly, bow or flower. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or a border. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, yeah, definitely. So let's pop that on there. It's so nice that you're using these frame dies again because I think, uh, especially because we're not selling them, you sort of don't think to bring out these things to use in conjunction yes. with other things you've got. So I think it's so nice to show people what they can be using at home with these new collections. Oh yeah, definitely. I think, and, and that's it, you know, I like to be able to, um, I think, use something that I haven't used for ages. Um, and I think we forget to do that. We buy all this new stuff. Sorry, that's just moved. We buy all this new stuff and we forget about our old stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, until we get it out and yes. we're like, why haven't I used this for so long? I'm so guilty for that, absolutely. So let's just make sure that's sticking nice, which it is. So I've sort of got um, a lovely little frame card. So that's going to open, it's going to stand just like a normal card. Um, but I've got my shadow box on the inside. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to decorate, um, just going to decorate it up. Where's my hot glue gun? There so again, go. always the hot glue gun when I'm using my foam flowers. Um, it's just my go-to uh, glue for sure. I mean, this would be your perfect Mother's Day card, wouldn't it? Adding flowers, doing a box card. It's like a gift, isn't it, in a box? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Susie's saying that she loves making flowers too. She said she's addicted to the daisy collection at the moment, making lots of extras to put her away. Uh, I'm with you, Susie. I've been doing the same thing. I've just been, I need to think of using different ones because I'm constantly using those daisy <laughs> dyes at the moment. Absolutely. Um, and Tammy's asking the question about can you cut the dyes out of the foam and put them in a box ready to be heated and moulded later on? Yeah, um, I'll yeah. let you. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, you can even make the flowers out if you wanted to heat them up, and they would still stay yes. in their form shape as well if you wanted to do that. But absolutely, cut them out and just heat them whenever you're ready to do them. And uh, Michelle is saying um, that the Constantina corners, the 3D borders, would also look good with this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, yes, definitely. Mm. I think anything that's going to be framing your, your flowers up and sort of keeping them uh, nice and safe is going to work. So yes, they would work perfectly. And Elaine is asking what the name of the online class is that you're doing. So, oh, um, um, off the top of my head, I can't remember. <laughs> I will... Uh, 
Put it on your page. It, it, I, yeah, I will. I'll pop it on there and let you know. Um, yeah, follow they Michelle. They do it's loads. Michelle CC or Crafters Companion, Facebook and Instagram. Um, yeah, Michelle, I'll pop that on for you they, later. They, they do loads of um, not just um, paper craft type, anything arty. So they've got loads of courses on there for if you want to learn to watercolour or, you know, anything arty. There's loads of courses on there. So. Nice. Um, I love it. It's um, it's a very cool site. It's right on the tip of my. Do you know what? I don't get my kids' names right half of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so you've nigh on me remembering the name of. But I will. I will definitely post it for you. <laughs> so let's pop that over there. Let me just bring those in a little bit because I think I'm going to pop. Am I just yes? I'm going to pop one on there. But this is the fun of it. Once you've got all your flowers sort of um, cut out, you're going to have a lot of fun deciding where you want to stick everything. Just and pop. that's the thing, that's the choice is yours, isn't it? You can just be really playful for these and put them wherever you want yeah. and just be really creative or keep it minimalistic. Yeah, definitely. You absolutely can. I'm definitely not minimalistic. I'm definitely more, more is more. more. Yeah. Yes, I'm a bit like that as well. <laughs> I do quite like doing the occasional minimalistic cards, but actually I'm a bit of a more is more girl. Yeah. I just, I like that look. I've got to say, um, the more is more look. Mm. It's definitely, it's definitely it's me. Stunning. Yeah. So let me just hold that a sec. And then... Just one more leaf. I will end in a second, I promise. <laughs> I'm just having a little bit too much fun. No, just say, more is more. <laughs> but that's it. So you see this one that hasn't got my stamens in, it doesn't really matter because you're not viewing it from the front. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I don't have any in there, it's almost like a filler flower. Um, yes for want of again a better and actually what that one's doing is tying in your other red um flowers around the edges yes yeah just looking for my big foam pads oh they're here they're right next to me <laughs> i'm looking everywhere but where they are <laughs> so let me get a foam pad we're going to pop that on there and again you could really go to town filling this up if you wanted to um but i'm going to leave it at that for now so I just, I needed to probably burnish that score line just a little bit more than what I have done before I put the box in. But it doesn't matter because once I turn it around and stand it up, you can see um, it's just framing those inside lovely. So it's still like a traditional card and you can just stand it like that. Wow, 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 absolutely beautiful. Terry has summed it up. Another Michelle Day saved <laughs> to the folder. Uh, amazing. <laughs> um, Denise says she really likes that shadow uh, box and uh, cr lady on YouTube crafting with Quillin Lady on YouTube is saying, I've been making foam flowers all weekend for the baby girls wall decoration. But that's going to look amazing. Uh, make sure you send us a picture of that when it's finished. Oh, and talking about pictures, uh, if you want to send your pictures in today, you could be a winner. We're in our Make You a Winner event this week. Uh, we want you to send in your bags, your boxes, and your tag pictures. Uh, and we will be picking five people to go uh, into sort of a, a you vote later later draw uh, on our launching party, launch party, uh, which is going to be amazing tonight. And you will win a £10 voucher, which is amazing. Uh, right, I do want to show you something else, which is, uh, now these are expression dies and they literally are that. They are just lovely, small little expression dies that you can put on any makes that you've got. So we've got our Mr and Mrs, we've got our anniversary. There's then out with love. You're getting all of these, a special friend, £25 for all this. It's amazing. Uh, you're invited. Uh, you've got something for everything on these. Congratulations. Uh, you're also getting the outside cutting die. You've got your good luck. Then you've got your uh, new home. You've also got your thinking of you, your thank you, 
and then you've got your with sympathy so lots of different designs there you're getting 22 dies in total for 25 pounds or 36 you're saving over 15 percent on those ones um, they're great to have on all sorts of uh, little tags and with that new tag oh and remember spend 10 pounds you are getting this free gift into your basket this will just be popped in at no extra cost you'll get this um, based on spending over 10 pounds or 10 dollars uh, and that creates the most amazing tag set which is incredible i absolutely love that one uh, i think what a free gift to get absolutely amazing and actually if you've already got this one don't worry you have extra tags to cut out so absolutely amazing uh, now the other thing i do want to just go back to before we head back to michelle is our corner punches because these are uh, just hugely popular you're absolutely loving them um, and i think you want to spend over that 10 pounds to get that free gift um, and these are 33 pounds or 42 dollars which are an exceptional price for corner punches so the first one we've got here is our deco fan so the little designs that you can see in this corner not as clear but you're getting those uh, different designs for each one uh, we've got our decorative hearts which i think is we've worked out is mine and michelle's uh, favorite one it's amazing i also love this one the photo corners is a beautiful one to have uh, just a really good design that you're going to be able to use throughout all your crafting needs all your scrapbooking photos mats and layers everything else uh, you're then getting your fleur de lis uh, and our next one is our decorative scallops and then the next one is our decorative corner uh, you're getting all six of those today for 33 pounds or 42 dollars so absolutely amazing we're going to see a bit more in launch party exactly uh, what you do with them or what michelle's got in store for us because they really are um corner dies that just create so many uh, corner punches i should say that create so many more uh, now i do want to say we have got um not many of these left so uh, you want to grab these while you can once they're gone they're gone they're a one print run uh, they are a beautiful say it with flowers uh, six by six paper pad double sided papers uncoated as well so if you wanted to do your uh, stamping on them if you wanted to ink the edges you could absolutely do those uh, so absolutely stunning so you're getting all of those sheets you're getting 60 sheets in total with your vellums and your paper pad as well just going to see let's see if this is open I'm going to show you these because they are absolutely uh, stunning um, let me just take one out so you can see the quality of these it's almost like a wobble effect they're very very high quality standard depending on what you put them onto if you put them onto white it really highlights that pattern they're absolutely beautiful now you're getting all of these different sheets you're getting 24 sheets in total all of those look at that i mean they're just absolutely gorgeous uh, we know that you love vellums um, and uh, we love them as well so eight by eight vellums here and that's both of those you're getting all of those 16 pounds or 22 dollars today um, now we're going to go back over to michelle and see what she's got next in store with this beautiful collection do you know, I've just spent the last three minutes looking for my next project and I was really panicking. It was right in front of my face. <laughs> but it was just, just under here, but the more that I looked for it, the less <laughs> that I could find it. Um, but no, I've got it now. I'm fine. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> right, so for this one, I've got my beautiful peony um, die and I've got this one. Um, this intricate arch. I love this. So you can see straight away uh, my two pieces have, have fallen out. So you're going to be cutting this out together. I, I mean, to be fair, you know, you can cut that out just as it is, or you can have that really intricate bit in it as well. Um, entirely up to you. So let me bring in my craft card. So I'm just going to get a piece of craft card and I'm going to cut this out with this. So let's pop this on here. And I think I'm going to cut it out just like that for now. Um, I can always go back in with it afterwards. But um, show you what it looks like just on its own. So yes, my desk is still a mess. Um, but in true crafter style, so it should be. I normally try to tidy up a little bit in between my demos. But because I couldn't find my demo, <laughs> what a mess. So it's fine. 
<laughs> yeah, most of our crafty people can relate to that desk. Me, however, now I'm a bit of a tidy crafter. It's, it's giving me like the heebie-jeebies. Oh, is it? Yeah, I want to come and sweep it all up and tidy it up. <laughs> I must admit, at the end of each day, I do tidy down when I've, <laughs> when I've done. But um, if I tidy up while I'm crafting, I lose everything that I'm using. <laughs> it's, that's not just me, is it? <laughs> it is quite true. I do get in a mess. That's not to say I don't get messy no, desks, but I, I do know. like to uh, keep it tidy. <laughs> so that's what it looks like on its own. But I'm going to pop that other piece in, actually, because I really like this effect. So let's pop that in. And you can see it lines up beautifully. So let me just make sure that that's going to stay stuck and not move. So I'm just I'm going to cut this one out, and then I think I'm going to run it through for a second one. Um, and I'm going to do um, I'm going to do another exploding box, a lot smaller than the one that I did this morning, um, but but different. Um, as different <laughs> as two exploding boxes can get. <laughs> I mean, and it might even change because I'm not even sure if I found all of my demo. So it's going to be a surprise <laughs> for you and me. <laughs> but look at that. Look how beautiful. It is Put lovely, isn't in. it? It cuts out. Wow. I mean, I haven't had to, um, I haven't had to do anything to that. I haven't had to poke my bits out um, or anything. So let's run this back through again. So let me just get rid of the bits that's in there so let's um, take that down t together let me move those first so I love dies like this I love dies that come in two parts where you can use it with or without a particular bit yeah because again it just gives you so much more choice um, for what you're going to be doing with it Absolutely. I mean, any die I think that can offer versatility is something that we all want, isn't it? Especially in crafting. Yeah, definitely. Right, so. I uh, got a little bit of hot glue on my um, finger and I let it dry and I peeled it off and it wasn't the hot glue I was peeling away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't you just hate that? Like, have I got glue on my finger? You're like, nope, that's just my finger. <laughs> Oh, is it sore? No, it's gone numb now, so I'm all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right until later and it starts to hurt. Yeah. Yeah, it's not nice. No, there you go. So that's two of those. Um, let me just try and make... I'll just make this bit look a bit more presentable for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got those two. <laughs> Let's bring in this so I said it's an exploding box with a bit of a difference so I've cut it from a 12 by 12 piece of card and you, this is how I always do it I always cut it um, cut it out like this I score it at um, four and at eight on both sides and then I always cut my corners away but I've left this one here for now because what I'm gonna do is let me just give that a bit of a burnish we're gonna have it um, so this part doesn't fall away so when I take my lid off I've got that part that stays like that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we're gonna, um, let me finish scoring all these. So before I glue this up, because once I've glued that up, it's not gonna fall down, we're gonna um, pop all our panels on. So I've got my four panels and I have got, I've got so many pieces of, of card and paper here, pretty sure. I'm a little bit over prepped with this one. <laughs> so I've got my paper there and I've got some lovely vellum here. So oh, this, I, and you were saying, weren't you, this vellum is so amazing. The, the, um, it's so thick, it's, uh, it's really sturdy, I love it. So we've got this, so let's get, let me think, yeah. So let me start on these uh, first, so tape pen. So let's get these three panels on first. So here. So the thing is, for the most part, you want to put as much of this together as you can. But once I glue these two together, I'm not going to be able to. So I'm going to put that panel on and then I'll glue it up. 
So let's get glue on there. Uh, and it's up to you. You can glue this to the inside or to the outside. I don't think it really matters. Um, I think it's a, a personal preference because whichever side that you put it on, you're going to be covering it up with a panel. So if you put it on the inside, you're still going to be covering it with a panel. And if you pop it on the outside, you're going to cover it up. So I don't think it really matters. So again, using craft card for a change. If I lay, lay that down, and then I can pop that in and on there. So there we go. So I've got my um, sort of base for my exploding box. So then what I've got is I've got another piece of card. Um, so again, almost as if I'm making a box lid. I've got a couple of pieces of these. So these are going to go on just two sides because what we're going to do is we're going to sit it in here. Um, so let's get two of these glued on. This, uh, the papers in here work really well with craft cards, don't they? I've not actually thought to use craft cards with this. No, but they do. They go perfectly mm, with it. Really nice. It gives it that more sort of rustic feel, doesn't it? it yeah, it really does. It's, um, it's, it's definitely underrated. It's not something that we use as much as I think we should. It goes with a lot more than we think. Um, but we do. I think we all do it. We always go to what we always use. And I think for the most part, it's white, isn't it? A white base. I think we, you know, we're going a bit out there when we use Accenture Pearl for a base. <laughs> but I don't think we use Craft Card half as much as what we should do. So what I'm going to do now is that's going to sit in there. Oh, nice. If I just tip that for you. So it's going to sit in there nice and lovely. Uh, and the reason that I cut these out is because my vis vision was a little picket fence round. I couldn't ah. find a picket fence die. I know I've got one. I think we've got one in um, one of our um, scene builder things, but mm -hmm. I couldn't find it. So what I thought actually was, I know this isn't a fence as, as such, but it's going to give me sort of an effect-ish of some sort of fence or trellis. Yep. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to just cut it down, but I'm going to cut it, I'm going to try and judge it sort of even. So I am doing this by eye. You might want to do it. Not by eye, <laughs> not by eye, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I'll pop that in the middle, nope, just a little bit more off. So definitely just trim a little bit down at a time. So there we go. So it's almost like maybe a trellis oh, that you would find on idea. a fence. So let me pop this on top of that one and then I can cut that one down exactly the same as well. It is called a trellis, isn't it? That you yeah. have your flowers mm -hmm. growing up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I think it's called a trellis because of the design of it, because trellises have that crisscross pattern. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, picket fence and anything like that. This is a very intricate trellis, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. So let's pop that in there. Stick that there. And then... I mean, it's just a great use of that die and just a, another use of how it can be. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to pop that one in there. And then again, so if I bring this in and you can see, oh, I like that. That's so <laughs> nice. Absolutely beautiful. So, and again, it just it enables you to be able to put something in there and gift it. So let me, um, let me use some wet glue to stick this in my box. Oh, Michelle, I love this. It's so nice. Thanks. Again, Easter, little Easter, <laughs> mini Easter eggs yeah. in there. Yeah, definitely. So, again, when you're sticking anything in, always make sure that you can bring all of your sides up. So let me pop that to the side, because what I want to do now is... Um, oh, let's sort them. We need the lid, don't we? So let's sort the lid out. I'm half organised. Look, this one's... Um, <laughs> Nearly done for me. So let me just snip those away. 
I've got to say, every time I look at these, I mean, I'm working with the papers right now, but every time I look at them, they are just beautiful. They're frameable prints, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, you could literally put this six by six pad into frames and have all the different colours on your walls. It would look amazing. It really is. And the thing is, why not? Why not do that? Why not put lots of the the pieces just in a frame, a six by six frame, or if you were lucky enough to get the 12 by 12 and have them. Mm. Um, I like it, you know, when people have all the pictures on the stairs going yes. off. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have to be pictures of your family. It can just be beautiful scenes, can't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So there we go. So let me check. This fits my box, does perfectly. I still panic about that. <laughs> I did it earlier, didn't I? I panicked about my lid. Um, so where's my flowers? So my flowers, all I'm going to do now is think is I'm just going to die cut those smallest ones out. So I'm going to bring in my foam again. I'm not going to heat set this um, at all. I just want to cut out a few small ones. Uh, and again, if you wanted to make this box a lot bigger, I think I showed you earlier um, how easy it is to make a bigger exploding box. So if you're making a giant one, then um, you know use your biggest um, flower die for this because you could, again you could really go to town on this. So let's get these out and pop that off. So what we're going to do? Let's just move that to the side and again. So yeah, I'm not going to heat set these. I'm just going to have them, I'm just going to pop them onto my trellis. Uh, wiggle, there we go. There. <laughs> that one didn't want to come apart. Mm -hmm. But even the smallest little die just looks really effective. It really does, absolutely. So let's, there we go. Just my, I'm all, what is it, what is that saying? I'm, when people say, do they say I'm all fingers and thumbs? But aren't we all fingers and thumbs anyway? So doesn't that just not make sense? <laughs> well, this, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> or am I just overthinking it? <laughs> right, come here, you. Just, that last one's not going to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep there using we go. them fingers and thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> right. So all I wanted to do with these is I'm going to bring my hot glue in again. Um, I'm just going to have them randomly placed. Let me bring this over so you can see on the trellis, almost as if they would be if there was, you, you know, growing up your fence at home. Um, you know, your flowers. So we're just going to randomly pop a few of these on. Being very careful not to touch it onto my finger again. <laughs> so the last one on this side. I think we'll just put three on each side. And turn that round. Definitely need uh, some reading glasses. I've been thinking about getting very focals actually. But I'm a bit worried I'm admitting I'm old if I get very vocals. <laughs> Let me find another glue stick for that. Right, let's pop that in. I mean, I look like my mum enough as it is, um, with very vocals on as well. It's um, a little bit scary. That just in there oh it's gone uh, all wonky it's gone everything that we don't want <laughs> so let me see if too I can... many things going wonky today yeah Michelle. i tell you what that's not playing for me so what i'm going to do is where's my there we go i'm just gonna so i'm just gonna get my tape pen shall i just come and take a look at it for, for you for speed yeah it's um this? just gonna bit do you, do you do the naughty thing of putting, um, doing your glue? <laughs> so I know that I'm going to tell everybody this, so no, it's what you don't do. Um, 
<laughs> Look at this lump of glue. It's because people, do you put your end of your stick on the end, then put it through? Yes, yeah. yeah. Should so I not do that? No, you should not do that. So that's Jan started that. Okay. Yeah. So if you melt your glue, it's supposed to then stick onto the end, but all it does is it clogs your glue up. There we go. Now, if we just put that in. See, look, I'm not heating it. <laughs> Telling Michelle off, live on air. There you go, now it work. You don't need to do that. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe it was Jan. It probably it was Jan. Jan, that was Jan. And actually, it's not that that sounds, it really sounds awful. It sounds like I'm really scolding someone. It's actually not a bad idea because it does glue it on. But unfortunately, what it does is it clogs in the middle um, yeah. because that glue is wet glue. Yeah. So, of yeah, course. and you don't need to do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're just like so, <laughs> I've just got my I've just put three on each side uh, again if you wanted to lay them up you absolutely could but what I'm going to do is I've got some lovely um, pearly cacti gems here and I'm going to pop these in the middle um, let's get that nice pink one on there and is, then, your, is your course called dome sticker is what, sorry? Is your course called Dome Sticker? No. No, it's not that oh, one. It's right, I can, <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can see, um, I can see it and I just cannot, for the life of me, um, think what it's called. Yeah, Angela um, Blaney's on. Hello, Angela. Uh, she said she's seen an online pop-up course, um, but it's called or, or Dome Sticker or Dom Sticker. No, no, but it's I will, I'll one. definitely let you guys know because obviously if any of you would be interested, they do loads of courses, lots of them are free, some you have to pay for, um, but there's loads on there. So I think last, what I'm going to do on here is I'm just going to pop a piece of that um, vellum on. I'm just going to just, tr just glue just that top bit there. So I've got a nice... Just, just for the decorative element of it. That one's going to pop there. Right in the middle of there. And so if I <laughs> close this... Oh, I forgot to decorate my outside, haven't I? I'll tell you what, I'll decorate that in a minute. So if I close it, my lid does fit perfectly. I will decorate the outside of that in a second. But if I open that for you guys um, from the front, you have just those two pieces that fall that and you so have that lovely, lovely flowered yeah. trellis effect there. I love that and such a different use of using those dyes. It is so, so beautiful. Uh, you're absolutely loving uh, the demos. In fact, um, uh, who, where was I just uh, looking then? because they keep going forward. Um, oh, so Suzanne is saying that she's trying to think of a Mother's Day card to make, but Michelle is not making it easy. She is making too many fabulous <laughs> things, <laughs> uh, which is amazing. Um, Pamela's saying, splendid, Michelle. Lovely card, Michelle. Um, Elaine is saying, oh, that looks beautiful, like a garden gate. Uh, yeah. Suzanne's saying, picking one of these to make uh, for demo of the show is going to be very difficult. I agree with you, Suzanne. Uh, Marcel is saying, I love the look of the intricate dye inside the books. I'm definitely putting this box on my crafting to-do list. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Susie's saying that she's thinking of doing the same thing with her thumbs up. Mary Pat is saying, Deb Debbie, you are just too cute. You can tell me off any time. That was gentle and kind. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be gentle and kind without being scolding. <laughs> uh, but we are going to give you a uh, chance to uh, check out your baskets. Uh, have a look at some of these crafty fowls that we've done. Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking though, it might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um, <laughs> me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? 
<laughs> Are you kidding? I'm gonna have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm gonna say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe gonna say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparklings, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. I love that. All them crafty fowls make me laugh. But actually, what's really stunning, I look at myself and look no different. I'm looking at Michelle and in every single one, she's got a different hairstyle. Michelle, what are you playing at? You've got red hair, you've got long black hair. You've got... <laughs> one day, you'll find a style that you really like. You yes. were saying you love your hair at the moment. Right? I do. I like this. I think yeah. I think it's going to be this for a little while. Is a little it easy? while. It is. Yes. So it is. much easier, so so much quicker. It's funny, isn't it, though? Because I find my hair longer is easier to deal yeah. with than when it was shorter. I just... For me, though, I have like, I have like this bit of a wave to my hair. So uh -huh. if I just leave it to dry naturally, I look a little bit like, you know, Monica from that episode of Friends where she went to Hawaii and the hair just goes. <laughs> That's me. So to have it shorter, it's a lot quicker for me oh, to iron it straight and stuff. Good, so. That's good. <laughs> uh, right. So now, just quickly, remember to get your photos in. Keep sending them in today because uh, you need to send pictures of. Oh, we've had more today than yesterday. Apparently, you're wanting that prize. Um, but you send your bags, tags, or boxes in today. Uh, any pictures of your makes, and we're going to be choosing five of you uh, to go in and vote for all of the crafty good people out there. Uh, to vote which one is their favourite and you will win a voucher which is amazing but we are in the middle in fact I say middle we're fast approaching the end of our masterclass so I'm going to quickly uh, go through our boards of what's in the uh, collection for our say it with flowers uh, and then we're going to get to a quick demo with Michelle before the end because we need to get voting as well which is going to be really um, hard to do I think today uh, our floral splendour there we've got our beautiful timeless elegant uh, you've got the gorgeous uh, baroque and then you've got all these centers.
sentiment dies, which are so usable and such lovely fonts on there. You've got your Just For You, uh, Dearest Friend, and of course your Happy Birthday, which is a great one to use. We've then got on top of that, you've got your Stamp and Die Set, which is your beautiful peonies. And you've also got flower dies in there to be creative with your peony, your rose, and your chrysanthemum. You've got ribbons in that collection, three different colours, three different sizes, all in that beautiful organza. And then you've got a whole flower making craft kit in there, which is going to be creating uh, different flowers like your carnation, your peony, your uh, dahlia, and also your rose. You can be making all those different flowers. And with that kit comes all the crepe papers that you need to be very creative and all the different tools on there that you can see will come in with that collection. £90 today or $115, which is incredible. Oh, and please don't forget your pads because you are getting those beautiful vellums, 24 sheets of vellum and 36 sheets of your paper pad in your six by six. So we're going to get over to Michelle to get a last more demo, last one demo in uh, before we get that sh vote of the show going along. So what you've got for us, Michelle? Uh, so I am going to use this frame. So all of mine are out of packets. So excuse me that I'm not telling you the names of them, but um, it's this one. And I, I just, <laughs> there's nothing else I can say except for I do apologise. Is that the floor? Um, no, it's not the floral. Um, <laughs> It's the, it's the uh, Timeless Elegance. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to be using the Timeless Elegance. And I didn't need <laughs> Debbie to tell me that at all. Um, so it's a beautiful die. It's a perfect four by six die. And again, I've got a couple of pieces of this gorgeous um, textured cardstock. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on there and I'm going to run it through. So let me just, I've got the tape still on there. Let's take that off. There we go. So again, let's pop this on. I'm just going to tape it down so it doesn't move. And then we're going to run this through. So again, this is going to go through your smaller machines. Um, I'm just using the bit. I, I always have this one out. I think Craig, when he's up, you will notice he's always got the junior out. Um, I always have the bigger one out. Um, I do have the junior at home, but I just find that I always just use my bigger one. Yeah. Well, I use my pro. <laughs> oh, do you? I've got the pro out, but I use it with my Gemini plates. Yeah, yeah. I think because it's the biggest machine I have, um, I've got nowhere else to put it but be out. So but be I out, use yeah. it all the time, yeah. Of course. So let me tap that up and off. Move all this. Oh, let me get that moved. Move all that to the side. There we go. So I've got all my bits popping out. I am not going to stand and pop all those out um, because that is going to take me forever and I don't have the time. But you can see I've got three already die cut out. So one in that lovely red and two in this pink. And again, all I've done is I've just brought in, in fact, that's my um, fuchsia, not my pink tulip. And I've just edged around it. So let's pop those there and then I'll bring this in. So I've got this piece of card, it's 14 by six. I've scored it in three. So again, it's almost like, I think I did a trip, to, a couple of triptychs yesterday. Um, so we'll start doing another one, we're staying on theme today. And I'm gonna bring these in. So I've already got these matte and layered up. Again, it's that beautiful um, paper. But what I was gonna do is, so I was gonna have that on there. And I quite like that, but, um, I actually, I'm thinking where I've actually um, I've gutted my card at the back, I actually think that looks nicer. I think it m helps this to stand out more. So if I bring that one in, I feel a little bit like my frame's getting lost. Mm -hmm. I, I think know what on you mean, that one, they both look beautiful. It's standing out. So I think even though it's backwards, I'm going to do that one because I really <laughs> like that. So um, let's just tape this all down use one that's got some tape in that helps it, it really does <laughs> <laughs> so let's pop this on here and the good thing is that frame has cut just perfectly um, and it borders that lovely so if I'd have had the patterned paper on this side with that bigger green border it would have um, it would have looked lovely but I really like that yeah, it's beautiful. I yeah. think either, either way looks lovely, but I know what you mean. It makes it pop because it's plainer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Less is more this time, Michelle. I know. <laughs> I shocked myself. <laughs> so let's get that lined up nice and in the middle. There we go. And then we're going to pop, pop this one on that side. So let me tape the right side. Long tape. The only thing when I've got my dotty and my straight next to me, I constantly keep picking up the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> but they sound different. Yeah, Just, they do sound yeah. different. It's like you know straight away, yeah. don't you? Yeah. There we go. So have we got our dotties back in stock yet? No. Oh, gosh. Not yet. I am getting a little bit worried. I think I'm down to my final two. I wow. was going to ask Tracy if they've got any up here in the studio, but I don't <laughs> know whether we have. I know she hides. You know she hides them. I'm oh, pretty she sure she hides all the good stuff. <laughs> and I don't like even know where they are, to be <laughs> honest. So uh, I wouldn't be able to pinch one. <laughs> no. And you take the risk of asking Tracy for something, but you know it's worth the risk when you're running low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Few choice wonky. words. <laughs> You know what she'd say? She'd say, of course, Debbie, anything for you. Yeah. you can't you imagine that rolling out of Tracy's mouth? <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got the red one on uh, the plain panel in the middle. Yes, Tracy definitely doesn't tell me off as nicely as you just did. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> let's just line that up in the middle as well and then um i've got this when i count my blessings i count you twice i'm going to pop that right in the middle and i'm just going to look for my foam pads so pop a couple of those on there such a nice sentiment that one I love that sentiment. And then I've got a flower. I've put a, a gem in it. So I, I made this at home. So it's traveled in my suitcase and it's gone all flat. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to squish it. So all I'm doing is just squishing that all round. And then when it's, it's just, it's as good as new now. So um, even though it's traveled and it's gone flat, just giving it a squish. And it's, that's the official term. <laughs> Give it a squish. And what um, material is that made out of? So this is my foam. So oh, I should have said foam. that really, nice. shouldn't I? Um, yeah, so my foam got all, my flower got squished traveling. But you just need to, you ruffle the flowers. Uh, and you can see, look at all the depth that I've got back on that just by yeah. ruffling it up. So that's going to go there. I've got my bow for just there. And then I've just got a couple of... Um, the leaves that I've cut out of just card. I'm going to pop that one. Just put that down. I find it so hard to do stuff with my right hand because I'm left-handed. Right. I try yeah. to do it with my right hand. It just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm the same. I couldn't do anything with my left hand. Pop that there. There we go. And then that's it. So just uh, using amazing. that frame. I love that and actually what that looks like is it looks like you could put photographs in that as well so what yes. a gorgeous present as well to do. Yeah. Uh, right Michelle I'm going to let you get set up for the vote because we are going to have to uh, get a quick vote in. Uh, it's definitely going to be a tough one so uh, while Michelle's just getting set up from that uh, let's read a few of your comments. Um, uh, literally so uh, we have, um, I am hope I'm saying your name right but we have um, Sujatha, 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 which is a, a beautiful name from Dubai. Woo! Wow. New country. It's got to be a new country. I don't think we've had anyone in from Dubai um, in India. Uh, so amazing. Uh, Mary Pat is an absolutely gorgeous Michelle. Uh, Sujatha is saying amazing show and your products too. And she's very happy to participate live in these shows. So how oh. nice is that? Um, uh, Samantha is saying that she absolutely loves that. Mary Beth saying lovely demo. It's beautiful. Kendall is saying she loves it. Susan saying love this. Um, Mary 
Mary's saying, Debbie, I appreciate the glue gun lesson. Uh, Michelle, like all of you, is fabulous. Uh, Debbie, you will never live that demo down wax seal gate. No. Uh, such a hoot. And uh, when I need a good laugh, I go and watch the show. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that I entertain you in that way. <laughs> um, and Tess was saying this was one of my favourite collections. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It was incredible. Uh, right, so vote time. Uh, Michelle, give us some numbers. Right, so number one was the acetate card. Number two was the um, the flowers in the, the window box. Number three was with the shadow box. Number four, I've decorated the outside, is um, the exploding box. And then number five is that one. Mm. It's a really tough one. Mine's one or three. Uh, no, one. 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 Oh, one. <laughs> oh, you've gone the opposite way. Yeah. Right? So that's one, one, two, three, four. And then the last oh, one I just did was four, number five. Four maybe. Oh, I don't know. It's a hard one. <laughs> Even number one I love. I think that's beautiful. Anyway, it's not our choice. It's your <laughs> decision. So get your votes in. Um, but before we go uh, and check for the votes, as soon as we've got a winner, uh, we're nearing right to the end of the show. It's been, the, in fact, a really fast couple of hours and a very busy day. So you're loving everything on the shows. Uh, right, I'm going to show you two ink pads to start with. Um, these are our pigmented ink, opaque ink pads. Uh, we've got our beautiful grasshopper and our crushed velvet too absolutely gorgeous colours. The reason I'm showing you them because these are the odd colours that are going to blend in with all the other colours I'm going to be showing you because they're in colour families. So you're getting those two, then you're getting your turquoises. Uh, these are absolutely stunning. So you're getting your ocean, getting your parakeet and you're also getting that beautiful lagoon. Uh, so that's in your turquoise colours. You're then getting your pink, so you've got pink tulip, your fuchsia um, and your plum jam. So let's pop them back to the future. I never get that in. I never get that in. Ben always gets that in. Uh, then we've got our beautiful yellow. So we've got our straw bell, our lemon tonic and that beautiful honey pot. So all those collections. So you've got three of the colour families, as you can see, all down here. And then you're getting your grasshopper and you're also getting that beautiful crushed velvet. These are absolutely gorgeous. You're getting 11 pieces of those for 44 pounds or 66 pounds, 66 dollars. Um, we've got a free gift, let me just take a sip of water. Sorry about that, I would have, I would have coughed. So rather than cough, I'd rather take just a sip of water. Sorry to do that live. Uh, free gift time. Uh, we've got an amazing uh, free gift. This is gonna be popped into your parcel. Tags and tickets die set, uh, which is truly incredible. Absolutely amazing set to have um, and really usable which I think is a great one that we're giving away free. And all you have to do is spend £10 or more or $10 or more on anything from our website today. Now, don't forget, uh, we've also got our daily deal that's only available. It's the Angel Collection. We've only got that till 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, we've also got launch party tonight, which is already selling fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's our, uh, it's our uh, launch party with our gift bag pads <laughs> excuse me right we have demo of the show number four. Ooh, yes yeah. number four Thank that pop-up box and i think it was that beautiful die that did it on the inside yes. that little fence die yeah uh, ingenious way to use them michelle you're always amazing with what you, you do thank you <laughs> so much um we've got a launch party tonight what have you yes. got for us then we have got those gift bag pads. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to be showing you how to make that album with those gift bag pads. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's we've, really yeah, good. Yeah, the corner punchers um, and some other stuff that I'm going to leave as a surprise because I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely amazing. We can't wait for that. So if you can't wait as well, remember to keep sending in your pictures of all your gift boxes, your tags, your boxes, your uh, gift bags, uh, and we will pick five people that will go into a vote that you will be voting for uh, to become a winner today. So join us back at 6pm tonight. We will see you then. Bye.